Hello, my name's Simon, welcome to my studio. I'm from Armadillo Art Experience. Um, I just fancied painting some bluebells today, so I thought I might do a random little uh, one-off painting video and show you how to paint some too. Um, I went out for a walk and I've taken some photographs which I'll pop in the comments um, later and so you can see those and maybe use them to refer to if you fancy having a go or maybe you've got some uh, photos of your own or if you're really lucky some bluebells in the garden. Anyway let's uh, get right along with it shall we and uh, learn to paint some bluebells. So here we are all set up ready to begin. I'm going to be using watercolours but please feel free to use anything you like you know acrylics, oils, kids art equipment, crayons, anything at all there. I mean I'm only going to be using normal paper, I'm not going to be using anything special to paint on. I've got my photo here ready to begin. I know that's not very clear but as I say I'll put a better version of it in the comments for you to see. Please don't pick the bluebells from the woods, leave them there for everybody else to enjoy and just take a photo to work from if you, if you want to use something different. Um, right, we're all ready to get going. Let's make a start, shall we? So we're going to make a start, we're going to draw our bluebells in the foreground and then we're going to colour a bit of background and then move forward and actually painting the bluebells. I'm going to be using quite a dark pencil so you can see what I'm doing um, and I won't bother rubbing the lines out but you might want to do that after you've drawn your bluebells. So let's make a start, we'll just draw a few at the front. So I can draw a nice stalk down there. I can draw my bluebell shape which goes a bit like this. So they're quite a nice easy shape to draw the bluebells, that's why it's quite a nice easy art project for you if you just fancy having a quick go, you know, if you don't, even if you don't normally do some drawing why not have a go at drawing this nice spring scene. So what I'm doing, I'm drawing these bluebells in the foreground and if we have a look at the picture we're basing it on, you can see I'm just drawing a few at the front and then we'll just roughly paint in the background and some of the background scenery and as I say you're welcome to use the photo I am, I'm going to put it in the comments or maybe use one of your own. So we'll just draw a few of these in the front there. And the thing to remember when doing something like this is you only really want to draw in as many bluebells or whatever else you're tackling as you can be bothered to paint in. So you're better off doing a few well than doing lots and lots and not really being sort of having the patience or the time perhaps to finish it. So that's what I'm aiming at. So that's it, that's our, that's our little scene drawn in. And what we might do is and I might have a little path going up through the woods like this. And then when I've got the top of the hill there. But, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. But we don't need to draw that in. We can just do that quite roughly. So now we're ready to start painting. So as I say, I'm going to use watercolours, but please feel free to use any materials you've got to hand, you know, kids art equipment, acrylics, oils, anything you like there. By putting a little bit of water on the background like this, and I'm going to paint, so it doesn't really matter too much specifically what colours you use, but I'm going to paint a nice blue sky in on the background, like this. Hopefully you can see my watercolours can be quite pale, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing and as I said do feel free to use anything you like. What I'm then going to do, I'm going to sort of rough in a nice quick wash and I'll leave a few gaps like this. Now you can paint over anything you want there but I would avoid the actual bluebells, the actual blue bit of the bluebells. You know, you know, paint over the stalks, that's fine, we can go over that in a minute. But we'll try and avoid painting over the bluebells themselves, the actual blue of the bluebells. Like that. So we've got a nice bit of uh, background there. Now you can see perhaps that that's slightly seeped up into the sky, but that's okay because it will look like a bit of foliage, which we're going to put into the sky in a minute anyway. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, leave a bit of green into the sky and that will look like some foliage from the trees that are around. Like that. So that's cool, right? 
Okay. So whilst that's drying, I'm going to start dotting, so I'm doing this quite quickly, a little bit of blue, like this, into the background. And this will look a bit like, hopefully, all of the background bluebells that aren't in focus, if you like, that are behind the ones we're painting. Now, it's tempting to do a lot more detail at this stage than you need because you can only see the um, you can only see your sort of background at this stage and haven't got the other bits in. And you might think it looks a bit messy, but try and you know not give in to the temptation of doing too much on the background and just dot a bit of that in like this. So this is only a quick sketch we're doing, so we don't have to worry too much. And the, the real point is to enjoy doing it, really. You don't have to necessarily create a masterpiece, but if you do, that's absolutely great, of course. I'm dotting a bit more darker colour in, a bit more opaque colour into the front, so it's a bit less thinned down, like that. So we can see, hopefully, it looks a bit like a big load of bluebells there. What I've noticed when I take a photo of bluebells is you never quite do them justice. It never, it never really shows what they're actually really, really like. So once I've got that in, I'm going to paint a little bit of brown and I'm going to make a sort of a path leading up to the top of the bank there, like that. Now the next bit we need to do, we really need to let that paint dry a little bit. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to dot some little yellow flowers in, because if we look at the picture again, the photo, we can see there's some dots of yellow in there as well. So I'm going to put those in now. Like so. Um, and now I will give it a second to dry and we can move on to the next um, part of the painting. So I've given it a minute. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start, if we look at the picture again, it's got some tree trunks going up, mainly birch trees, and we've got our bluebells to finish at the front. Or maybe we can put some shadows across the path, we've got our trees in. So I'm going to start by Mixing a bit of sort of pale browny yellow colour. So just use what you've got to hand, don't worry about it too much. And I can then start painting in some branch, some um, little tree trunks like that. We want it fairly subtle because they're in the background. If you can hear that noise, that's just me mixing my paints up and getting some paints out my. Uh, palettes I've got here, look there's one of them there, look that's what I'm using. So that's my bit of yellow with a bit of brown mixture. But don't, you know, they say don't worry and if you're doing it with um, crayons or something, just use whatever you've got really. I mean trees aren't truly brown anyway, are they? They've got a lot of um, algae and lichen growing on and all those kind of things, so they're not necessarily uh, particularly um, brown and clean looking if you see what I mean. What I'm doing is to paint these trees I'm starting off holding the brush a bit further away and a bit less pressure on it at the top and then as I move down the paper I'm pressing harder to make my strokes wider like that. So you can see that I start a thin one go all the way down there and look we've got a branch for that tree. So what I'm going to do now I'm going to use a darker brown colour I'm just going to pop a couple of trees in with that, just, just a bit of variety really. And then we'll move on to our blue book boughs at the front. So a bit of variety, really we're going to put in a couple of darker trees in, like that. Put one over there as well. And then we're going to move on to the blue boughs at the front. So there we go. So what we'll do now I think though is we'll put some shadow in just to show the trees going across the bluebells and so on into the path like that 
and I think there are a couple of bits of shadow like that makes it makes it a better picture really. And let's do another one up there. There's loads of trees anyway, so we don't have to worry too specifically about which tree that shadow is coming from. We just want to put a shadow in there across the path like this. Right, let's um, paint some bluebells then, shall we? So if you've got a selection of paints, I'm going to use cobalt blue for this. But if you haven't, don't worry about it. Just just use whatever you've uh, got really. So what I'm going to do to start with. I'm going to paint just a bit of a wash on there like that so I'm using a thinner paint and I can leave a bit out and that makes a bit of light on the bluebells like that. Now really I think the bluebells are a bit mobile than this so what I might do just because I've got a little bit more, a bit of purple to hand. I might add a bit of that to the sides as well. Well, just to make, keep the colours sort of realistic. So I'm adding a little bit of purple to them, like that. As I say, I'm doing this uh, quite not necessarily a very neat job. It's just a little sketch, a bit of fun, really. I fancied, uh, you know, painting this today. So, so we don't have to worry too much. We're, we're just after enjoying doing this. And then what I can do is I can get a little paint a little bit less watered down and draw a couple of lines on them like this. And that makes a bit of shadow and a bit of sort of, you know, texture on them and sort of where the bits sort of fold up, you know, the sort of the bit, the trumpet of the flower, if you will, folds up. Once we've done that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to that green paint I started with at the start, the paint, you know, when I painted the background. And I can use this then to paint some of the bluebell stalks in. Now, as I say, this style of painting, it might not be the most precise in the world, it might not give you the best ever paintings, but it certainly gives you quite a nice sort of vibrant look. And this is some this is a way of painting I use all the time and I'm just trying to sort of record ideas that I might use on a if you like a full on finished painting. So there we have our bluebell stalks going in and if you want you can add sort of a bit more sort of foliage and so on behind like that. You've got your paint out just to add a bit of um, you know something going on and what I'm going to do I'm going to use a darker green now or you could uh, you could make a green out of yellow and blue and in that case just add a bit more blue or maybe a little bit of red or a little bit of brown to darken it and I'm just going to use that darker green then just to um, just finish those stems off like that like that. And there we have virtually finished our little sort of quick bluebell sketch. What I'm going to do now, just to finish it, finish it, I'm just going to dot a little bit more paint into some of those background areas like this. Just to hint at those um, bluebells growing there like that, all those bluebells. And hopefully, as I say, I always find photos of bluebells a bit disappointing when you take them because in a sense, it never quite does these big loads of flowers justice, but hopefully that sort of captures them a little bit. Yeah, put a few going over the path like that. And there we go, really, a quick bluebell sketch. Hopefully you enjoyed that quick look at how to uh, paint some bluebells and hopefully it might inspire you to have a go yourselves. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed watching us and please stay creative during this uh, lockdown period. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.